हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल टुडे स्टोरी नेम इज द अराइवल ऑफ राइज दिस स्टोरी टेकन फ्रॉम द बुक ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स बैग ऑफ स्टोरीज एंड रिटन बाय द ग्रेट सुधा मूर्ति नाउ लेट्स गो टू द स्टोरी A long time ago humans could walk on clouds and wander freely in heaven one day madhav a mortal became curious about how gods live in heaven where do they work what do they do all day what do they eat he wondered so he walked up to heaven and met many gods he found that there were several gods and goddesses responsible for different departments in the realm there was the god of water the goddesses of learning the god of courage and the god of good health among others but the goddesses of grains annapurna fascinated madhav the most he asked her devi i want to see the way the agriculture system works here what do you eat and how do you produce it annapurna called him home and fed him a sumptuous meal one of the ingredients was delicious soft white food that looked like a grain I have never seen or eaten this before. I don't think anyone on earth has either. It is delectable. What is this? He asked. This is rice. All gods eat rice. It gives us energy and mixes very well with all vegetables. Madhav agreed with her. As long as I am here, I would love to eat this every day. he said honestly the goddess is smile of course madhav eat as much as your heart desires the next day madhav asked her how is rice grown here will you please show me since he was really keen to know annapurna took him to the rice fields to show how the bread was prepared how the seeds were sown how the water was retained and how it was replanted during the different stages of its growth when the rice grains were ready for harvest they took on a golden color and form a bunch such a beautiful sight to look at he thought after that the goddesses show him how the harvest was pounded from grain to rice there were a variety of pounding styles and each style had different name rice emerged from the pounded grain which was then ready to cook for a meal madhav spent a few more days in heaven and then asked for the goddess's permission to go back to earth during his last dinner there he thought of his wife his parents his children his siblings and his village i want everyone to taste the magic of rice at least once in their lifetimes even if it is just one teaspoon i am afraid to ask the goddesses she is sure to refuse my request since this is the food of the gods after all so madhav took four seeds of rice and hid them in his turban he knew no one would think of looking for the seeds there madhav came back to earth quickly planted the seeds and took care of them the same way annapurna had shown him when it was time for harvest he followed the process he pounded and made the rice he made a sweet rice dish with the white rice then closed his eyes and first offered it to the goddesses of grains annapurna heard his prayers in heaven and came down to earth when she saw the rice she became furious she said madhav you have betrayed my trust i respect the love for knowledge and appreciate your curiosity but you have stolen from me 
had you been truthful i would have given you some myself you must be punished for being a thief madhav touched her feet and apologized mother i did this because of my insecurity please forgive me we are all your children and i wanted to share the taste of rice with others too it was not just for my selfishness moreover i have also shared the knowledge of growing rice with others this is so much better than what we eat and it makes us energetic too wouldn't you like your children to have this please i request you to pardon me annapurna sai i can't argue with that i know that your intentions were good now that rice is here on earth too i will always send a sign when it is the right time to sow seeds i will wash my hair in heaven and when i push my head back the wet hair will fall on my back and the water will flow down as rain to the earth that will be the best time for humans to sow the seeds the only punishment that i can give now is that no mortal will allowed to come freely to heaven any more they will be allowed to do so only after they discard their body at death this is how rice started growing on earth even today people who grow rice offer the first produce or aksar of the season to the gods and goddesses this uncooked rice is used in auspicious occasion such as weddings and is known as akshata the finest offering one can make then they offer payasam with milk and white rice to the goddesses annapurna this is the story of arrival rice do you like it then comment it and subscribe our channel bye bye